here we are in Heathrow, seven hours uh, over from Toronto, a little red eye flight. Uh, no chance to do any sketch noting uh, on the plane because I was sleeping actually. But uh, gonna head straight uh, straight to the United Lounge, pay a little extra money uh, to get in there. Well worth it. I got a seven hour layover uh, before the next flight and a good chance to get into some good sketch noting and some good conversation with you too about uh, you know how I like to use the lounge when I'm traveling for sketch noting. So a little different sketch noting process here. I need a really neat, crisp, clean uh, concept drawing for this conference I'm going to that I'm going to be teaching from. So instead of just sketching and coloring, I'm actually penciling first, sketching with pencil first, then inking it in. Uh, most of the time was spent penciling, figuring out, literally sketching, then inking it in. Uh, made some really good progress. The lounge really affords that great, detailed, quiet time to be able to figure things out. Had a beautiful view out the window, which really helped as well. And uh, made some really great progress. Almost got the whole thing inked in by the time I was ready to go. Uh, hoping to finish that off on the plane tonight on tonight's flight. And then I will also then erase all the pencil, and then I'm ready for coloring with some Tombow brushes. On an 11-hour flight, what I did is I used the first part to finish inking in the drawing and uh, then get the original pencil sketch lines erased. Had some shut-eye and then when I woke up in the, the morning, so to speak, of the flight, I managed to get uh, all the coloring done with the Tombow brushes on the flight as well. So very productive. Uh, have a good look here. Uh, it's a concept drawing of a visual storytelling process I'm going to be teaching in the workshop that I'm going to be conducting. And uh, it turned out really, really well. Uh, when I get to my uh, destination, I'm going to find a print shop, get a PDF uh, scanned of this drawing, and then get printed into a big poster that I'll put on the wall of the, uh, the workshop. So I'm actually going this morning to uh, do a little keynote uh, presentation just uh, in Pretoria. And it's prior to the conference I'm going to. They asked me to do this little talk. I'm going to do it on, on visualizing visions for organizations and people. Uh, I don't want to use PowerPoint. So I made up 13 flip charts. I'll show you a little bit of that as well. 13 flip charts. I'm going to talk from those at the session. And hopefully it's going to get a whole different flavor. So I'm kind of excited about that. So here I am delivering the keynote. I only had a half hour and I didn't have any access to any projector or any other visual aids so that's why I chose flip charts and also it's just a good thing to do you know as I like to say as a visual nomad when you're on the road. A uh, little idea of how I put the flip charts together just simple Mr. Sketch markers a little bit of soft pastel then to add some color in after I got them all uh, done up and it worked out really well it made it a lot more intimate with the crowd and here's a, a quick flip through of the flip charts I did for the session really gives a whole different, more intimate uh, feeling in space when you do it this way. So I did two workshops on visual storytelling at the uh, International Creativity Conference. Taught people some fundamentals to get them going, representing their ideas. Did a lot of interactive exercises to help make the points as well and teach the concepts. But one of the really, really main things I like to do is to teach visually and visually from the wall. And that's where these posters come into being. And these are essentially the same posters of the type I was creating in the lounge and on the plane uh, on the way down. Scan them as a PDF and then get them blown up the big posters on the wall. It is the fastest way I know how to teach concepts because it's a visual methodology on the wall. It's an awesome way to do it. Jeff Rich, will you? There you are. <laughs> he drew my session on Monday actually and I highly appreciate it. I took those and make them bitter. <laughs> bigger. So this is actually what I... So I went to uh, Ingvar's session early on in the conference. It was excellent. And I did a graphic recording of the session. And then afterwards, he took the drawings, got them scanned as PDFs, and got them turned into this huge banner. 
uh, printed actually on canvas in a nearby print shop in town. And uh, then he used it for a subsequent session because basically it was uh, an agenda for his whole session. It turned out really well. is actually boarding right now just over there so I need to get over there in a minute but uh, Heathrow on the way back to Toronto last leg of the uh, the trip almost a three-week trip visual nomad trip is what I tried to make it and it's really turned out well that way uh, did a lot of stuff in airports a lot of stuff on planes you know graphically recording things sketch noting sketch noted some sessions at the conference I was at uh, and also taught some sessions on visual thinking and did some uh, keynote kind of stuff too that uh, I use visual stuff so like flip charts really basic stuff and uh, I think it was a really good uh, exploration or experiment in visual thinking on the road or as I like to say a visual nomad it's even more than sketch noting on a plane so uh, maybe I'll hook up with you on the plane here on the way to Toronto talk to you later so thanks for taking the time to watch if you'd like to see more videos like this Remember to hit the subscribe button down below and we always love comments as well. Love to hear what you're thinking. Take care.